Good morning, everyone. Well, afternoon, really. It's uh, almost one. Um, I'm going to do a little pour. I have to uh, stir up my paint a little still. I have a lot of bubbles in my white, but <laughs> we'll just see. This paint is, I think, about a year old. The white one I just made, that's why all the bubbles are in there. But it'll have to do. And we're going to see if it works, because this blue one is definitely a, a year old. And the green one is a year old. Let's see. Yeah. Should work, because I do see that the consistency is still really, you know, just the way you want it. Just coming off the sticks like warm honey. That's the key to getting a really nice pour. This one is a little thicker. Oh yeah, that one's thicker. But I thought I'd do a, a, a quick little um, uh, pour because um, we're going to get some really extreme weather. And uh, if, it's, um, if it's really going to happen like they say it's going to happen, I'm going to fire up the old drone tomorrow. And I'm going to sh show you guys some really heavy snow because they're talking about historical amounts of snow. So <laughs> that is really something that I'm uh, really looking forward to see. So I'll keep you updated. If, it's, if it really is going to come down, it's going to start around 10 o'clock tonight. And then it's going to snow um, the whole night. And tomorrow it's going to snow, so it's going to be a lot of snow. And I'll tell you, tell you this, we are used to a little bit of snow, but we're not used to like that much. They're, that's what they're predicting. Uh, 30 centimeters. I don't get, oh yeah, I have a ruler here. That's how much. If we get this, like Holland will be totally drawn to a standstill. That's what happens. Nothing works. No trains are going because the trains <laughs> break down. Everything happens. So we'll see. And I'll uh, maybe uh, shoot some footage from TV to show you what's happening here. But it's pretty exciting. I can tell you that. So first off, I want to show you something, guys. This one. This is a um, uh, someone that just started pouring. Well, he poured for a long time, but just started the channel. And uh, if you want to search for him, Garrick Brown Art Studio. And I'm telling you this because he makes beautiful stuff. You know, he does the, uh, the bloom uh, technique. And as you can see here, the recipe secrets, he does it with different things than the Shelly, uh, Shelly art does. So maybe that's interesting for a couple of people. Then he does a showdown of pouring medium, which I find pretty inter interesting too. But why I subscribe to this channel is because the way he does it, it just makes you feel good. <laughs> I can't help it. But when I watch his video, he makes me feel good. He, just all of a sudden, I'm smiling. Just when I see him talking, I smile. So I didn't want to keep that from you guys. So please uh, just watch it. Now, um, oh yeah, talking temperature wise, I'm not, I'm not really understanding the Fahrenheit thing. That is pretty funny because um, here in Holland, if it's uh, minus one, that would be uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And when it's minus 13, you guys have eight Fahrenheit. So I'm not really getting that because if it's minus one, it's freezing uh, here in Holland. You get the ice on the water, but you guys are still in the uh, 30, 30 digits. So I don't know what that is, but they're predicting it's going to be something around minus 12, minus 13. That is uh, 8 Fahrenheit. So that's how cold it's going to get. So next week, I don't think I'm going to be doing any pouring because of the temperature. Because I, I just can't get the studio warm enough. I think I'll do a pour in a little cup. Let's see. Will that fit? Nah, it's not going to fit. So, um... Let's do a little pour. And what I was gonna do, I was gonna just do a, um, uh, a sort of a background pour. 
because I want to do a transfer on top. That's something that I can do inside if it gets too cold. So I'm thinking ahead just in case something really does happen here in Holland and Holland is closed down even more than it is with the lockdown. We are still in a lockdown people. Can you believe that? There's absolutely no shops open. Only the essential ones, you know, the supermarkets, the butchers, the bakeries. But other than that, nothing is open. Everything's closed. And it's really starting uh, to... And it's not like I go to a shop like daily or something like that. I don't. But I'd like to go and get some new gloves because I'm back to the white ones. Or the transparent ones. Because my blue gloves are... I don't have them anymore. So um, I'm looking forward to at least going to one shop. You know, it's a dollar, dollar store shop where everything's cheap. Everyone's waiting for that one to open up again. I don't think we can even go there the first couple of days because it's going to be so busy. Because they sell everything, you know, but so much cheaper. So we're going to see how that works out. I think I'll have enough. I was thinking maybe I won't have enough, but I think I will. Oh, on the uh, work front. Well, I got the uh, the uh, email. They, you know, I had to, for the third time, I had to take a lawyer because they weren't listening to what I was saying. Don't know why that is. Why is it when I tell them something and it makes perfect sense, they don't believe it, and a lawyer comes in, says the same thing, and then it's all of a sudden it's, I don't know, cleared up. So I won again. Third time I had to take a lawyer, and they were wrong again. So I think now I'm out of all that drama, so I'm going to be happy to... Uh, to get on with my life okay oh another thing a while back can you remember this a while back um, I made a video I'll put it at the end of this one because a lot of questions about resin about the you know the divots or the the spots the bare spots now this is not a really expensive canvas as you can see so this is sort of a little bit loosey-goosey just a little bit but as you can see even the sides and here nothing is bare now what I did is um, I poured this with silicone as you can see all the cells but I didn't take the silicone off so I, I mixed my resin I poured the resin on top I spread it out and then you started to see all those patches where the uh, the resin pulls away then what you do is put like three drops of silicone on top of the resin and you start rubbing it like that. Now the video, you can see for yourself that I think that was two years ago and people were uh, commenting uh, that it was going to go milky or, you know, cloudy or whatever you call it and it w that wouldn't be sustainable and all kinds of stuff they were telling. But look at that. There's nothing wrong with this resin layer it's perfect so it doesn't go cloudy and it helps just adding those few drops of silicone into the resin helps um, to make it nice and smooth because smooth it is okay so I just thought I'd show you that guys now we're gonna do the pour so it's gonna be a flip cup yeah we're going to flip it up here. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Ooh, that's nice. We're going to leave it like this for a little bit. And then we're going to torch it. Ooh, there comes all those pretty little cells. That's about enough. I should have put it on a spinner. I, I'd, I'd like to try spinning again. 
because I haven't spin, spun for a long time. Oops, I want to keep that because look, that's pretty. And now I'm sort of missing, um, I'm really missing the white because uh, like I said, I was going to do a uh, background on it and now it has not enough white for me to do a background on it, but maybe it's not that bad. Let's just make that come over here a little bit. This is kind of beautiful. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> because like I said in the beginning, you know, the whole, um, the paint is like a year old. So I really wasn't expecting it to do what it's doing. This is really nice. Let's pull it down here a little bit. See, that's it. And then down here. That's it. And it's dripping on my wrist where I gotta make sure that it doesn't drip on my bathrobe because this isn't really my painting bathrobe. But you're pretty used to that for me because usually I get it all messed up. Okay, we are ready. That looks really pretty. Wish I could show the side because the sides are pretty too. This is it. We're just gonna leave it like that. I like it, I really do. I'm, I don't even think I'm gonna use it as a background because that's how much I like the colors. Let me check it out a little bit more. Yeah, that's beautiful, okay. Now, um, I'm gonna let it dry up like this. And um, the thing is, that right now, my, my, my mind is racing because I'm thinking, would this be uh, because the uh, paint is that old that I'm getting such beautiful patterns and stuff? I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. I'll do another pour because I still have a lot of paint left, which is uh, about 8 to 12 months old. So maybe I'll do that when it gets a little bit warmer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. I'm going to um, make a few pictures of the sides just to show you at the end of the video. And at the really at the end, I'm going to put that link for the uh, resin with the uh, silicone in it so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I'd want to really thank everyone who's been so kind and, you know, trying to pick me up, you know, make me feel a little bit better. Lots of people commented about the work situation and uh, I'm so happy that it's all done because I can't really imagine anything else they can do to make my life any more I can't say the H word, but um, to um, make it difficult for me, we've we've had everything done to me what they can possibly do. So um, next time I'm on here, we're going to do some fun pouring, guys. That's what I feel like. I, absolutely after this one. <laughs> okay. Love you all to pieces, like always. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Hugs and kisses to your family too. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.